ya kisa kilichoweza kutendeka wakati wa vita vya pili vya ulimwengu inasemekana ya kwamba kulikuwa na vijana ambao walikuwa wamefunzu katika jeshi na kwa sababu kulikuwa na mahitaji makuu wakatumwa kutoka nchi yao waelekee katika nchi ingine wapiganie nchi na mahitaji ya nchi yao na kwa sababu walikuwa vijana ambao hawajaelewa sana mambo ya vita na hawajaelewa nchi ambao wanaenda kupigana basi ilibidi ya kwamba wapatiwe amani itakao kuwa atakao kuwa kitumia kila asubuhi wanapotoka katika kambi lao na kwenda katika shughuli za kifita Jambo lingine ni kwamba walipotoka katika kambi walipokuwa wameishi asubuhi walikuwa napatiwa ishara na ilikuwa lazima unaporudi pale kambini jioni mkiwa mmoja ama mkiwa kikundi lazima mtaulizwa na yule ambaye anasimamia lile lango muonyeshe ishara ya siku hiyo kwa bahati baya mmoja wao hawa vijana aliweza kupotea akajitenga na kikundi cha wenzake ukawa kuna mvua kubwa sana na kwa hivyo ile karatasi ambayo e, kulikuwa pamechorwa ile map ya kumuonyesha jinsi ya kurudi katika kambi lao ikawa imelowa maji na hangaweza kurudi ikamchukua takriban siku kama tatu kabla hajafahamu njia ya kurudi kambini kwa bahati nzuri akaweza kuijua njia na akajikuta katika nje ya lango la kambi hili. Changamoto ni kwamba ilikuwa sheria. Lazima angepatiana ishara. Na sheria ilikuwa kama utapatiana ishara utapigwa risasi na kuuawa papo hapo. Basi huyo kijana akajua ya kwamba siku ya kufa kwake imetimia. Akajaribu kujieleza lakini wale waliokuwa katika lile lango wakasimama wima wakamkumbusha kwamba yeye ni mwanajeshi anajua sheria zote na umuhimu wa kuwa mtiifu na vile vile wakamkumbusha atujui mahali ulikuwa kama kwamba umeenda katika upande ule mwingine wa maadui zetu basi wakamwambia kama hutatupatia ishara ya siku hii ya leo sisi tutakulenga risasi tutakupiga risasi na tutakuua yule kijana akaanza kutetemeka na akajua mwisho wake umefika. Lakini kwa sababu alikuwa ametoka katika nchi ya Italy, malezi yake pale alikuwa amefundishwa mafundisho ya dini, alikuwa Mkristo kwa ule wasiwasi wake na uoga akasema nipatieni dakika moja tu niombe niwe na uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu alafu mniiwe. Basi akaambia na wenzake hata ukitaka tatu tutakupatia. Lakini kama hautatupatia ishara tutakuwa. Basi yule kijana akitetemeka and he was sweating profusely uh, kama Mkristo mzuri mkatoliki alianza na ishara ya msalaba kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la mtakatifu. Na lile alikuwa na tarajia ni kwamba hao wote watamlenga risasi baada ya maombi hayo. Lakini kwa bahati nzuri hiyo ilikuwa dio ishara waliokuwa wamepatiwa siku ile na kwa hivyo akaweza kuponea wapendwa watu wa Mungu siku hii ya leo mama kanisa ametupatia nafasi muhimu sana tuweze kutafakari fumbo la msalaba mtakatifu ambao ndicho um, chombo ambacho Mwenyezi Mungu ametumia kutupatia uokofu na kuokoa ulimwengu wote. Mkikumbuka maneno ambayo tunayasema siku ya Ijumaa kuu huu ndio mtu wa msalaba ambapo mwokozi wa dunia ametundikwa. Msalaba una muhimu sana kwa sisi ambao ni wa Kristo. Kama vile Paulo anavyosema kwa wale ambao wanaokolewa msalaba una umuhimu kwa sababu dicho chombo tu ambacho Mwenyezi Mungu ametumia kutuokoa ila kwa wale ambao wanapotea fumbo hili la msalaba ni jambo la upumbafu tu 
hawawezi wakagamua jambo lingine lolote. Kwa nini basi tuwasherehekea siku hii ya kutukuzwa kwa msalaba exaltation of the cross? Jambo la kwanza sherehe hii ya leo inatukumbusha ama inaadhimisha ni kuwekwa wa wakufu kwa kanisa kuu la kaburi takatifu huko Yerusalemu dedication of the basilica of the holy sepulchre in Jerusalem na kanisa hili lina muhimu sana kwa sababu limejengwa na linaaminika limejengwa katika mahali ambapo bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliweza kutundikwa na hakika kwa wale ambao wamezuru katika hija zao za kuelekea nchi takatifu tunajua ya kwamba tunapoelekea pale this basilica tunaonyeshwa ya kwamba hata kalifari iko ndani ya hiyo kanisa wewe ukaenda pale ukitarajia kwamba utaona mlima mkubwa sana na hapa huambiwa ya kwamba ndipo Yesu Kristo aliweza kutundikwa kalifari iko ndani ya basilika hilo kanisa hilo kuu vile vile siku hii ya leo ya kutukuzwa kwa msalaba inatukumbusha siku ile mtakatifu Helena ambaye ni mamake Empara Constantine alipozuru katika hija yake katika nchi ya ya Hurirad, na pale akaweza kutambua msalaba the true cross ambapo Yesu Kristo alikuwa ametundikwa na jambo la tatu ni kwamba baadaye msalaba huu uliweza kunyakuliwa na wapashia lakini katika enzi ya utawala wake Empara Heraclius aliweza kurudia kurudisha katika mji wa Yerusalemu so we also celebrate the triumphant entry of the true cross ama kurejeshwa kwa msalaba mtakatifu katika nchi ya Holy Ladama nchi takatifu lakini la muhimu sana la nne ni kwamba tunasherehekea umuhimu wa msalaba katika maisha yetu nakumbuka sisi ambao ni wa Kristo jia ambao Yesu Kristo ametualika kila mmoja wetu tuweze kumfuata ni ile ya kuchukua msalaba pale aliposema yeyote ataye naye taka kuwa mfuasi wangu lazima lazima ajikane ye mwenyewe achukue msalaba ajitwike msalaba na aje anifuate mimi Yesu hakusema ya kwamba ametualika katika maisha ya sherehe lakini alisema kila aliye tayari kuwa mfuasi wangu lazima achukue msalaba wake ajitwike huyo msalaba na aweze kunifuata mimi na ndiposa tunapo utazama msalaba ambapo katika enzi na karne zake Yesu Kristu ulikuwa unatumiwa na Warumi kama chombo cha mauti an instrument of torture and an instrument of death lakini kama vile Yesu Paulo amesema katika somo la pili ijapokuwa yeye alikuwa Mungu Kristu alikuwa Mungu aliweza kunyenyekea akaitikia kifo hata kifo ambacho kilikuwa cha aibu sana juu ya msalaba lakini katika huo msalaba akaleta wokofu katika ulimwengu wote na liposa tunasherekea huo msalaba ya kuomba tukiwaangalia hatuoni haya tena lakini tunaona chombo ambacho kimekuwa chombo cha ushindi ambapo wokofu unatoka ambapo neema inatoka ambapo ushindi kwa kila aina unatoka uponyaji wa kila aina unatoka na basi Yesu Kristo anatualika kwa msalaba wake tuweze kuleta mahitaji yote magonjwa yetu yote shida zetu zote tuziweke chini ya msalaba kwa sababu katika chini ya msalaba chemichemi ya baraka na neema zote za kila aina zinatiririka nasikia katika somo la injili Nikodemu anamwendea Yesu Kristo na katika kumwendea amemwendea usiku kwa sababu alikuwa anaogopa yeye mwenyewe alikuwa muyahudi na mkuu pale sinagogi na kwa hivyo alikuwa na shida hiyo ya asijulikane ya kuwa anataka kuwa mfuasi ya Yesu Kristo na hapa tunaweza hata sisi kujiuliza na kutoa changamoto am i ashamed of being a christian am i ashamed of being a catholic 
Am I ashamed, for example, going for confession, coming for Eucharist, and witnessing Christ kama mkatoliki bele ya watu wengine? Tunapo kuwa katika kongomano. Mimi niko tayari kudhihirisha imani yangu. Kwa mfano wakati nasema ni mamkuri. Je, mimi naombea chakula, nafanya ishara ya msalaba na kadhalika. Mambo ambayo ni ya muhimu sana katika imani yangu ama mimi nimekuwa kama nikodemu huyu ya kwamba ninaibika kwa sababu ya imani yangu. Hapa ni changamoto kwa kila mmoja wetu. Hasa sisi ya boo ni wa Kristu, sisi ya boo ni wa Katoliki. Ya kwamba kila wakati tuwe tukisimama imara katika imani yetu. Imara kwangu mimi kama padre nidhihirishe na nitoe ushahidi ya kuishi kama upadre bila kuogopa. Wale aboni watawa wa kiume na wakike vile vile. Sisi aboni wa Kristu vile vile kusimama wima. Basi anapomuendea angetaka kujua jinsi atakavyofanya ili aweze kuridhi ufalme wa binguni. Na hapo Yesu Kristu katika gumzo lake na Nikodemu baadaye ana anataja yaliyotendeka katika wakati wa Musa ya kwamba watu walipogaili wakawa wanalalamikia Mungu na Mungu na Musa Mungu alikasirika na wao akawatumia nyoka waliokuwa wanawauma na walipoona ya kwamba wengi wameangamia wakamlilia Mungu tena wakaambia Musa hakika tumetenda dhambi tumekosa kwa sababu ya kumlalamikia Mwenyezi Mungu tunakuomba utuombe kwake Mwenyezi Mungu tuweze kuishi na anapomuendea Mungu Musa anaambiwa tengeneza nyoka wa shamba mwinue juu na yote ambaye ataweza kuumwa na nyoka wengine atazame yule nyoka ataweza kupona na Yesu Kristu asema ya kwamba kama vile Musa alivyoweza kuinua huo nyoka huyo nyoka ya shamba ye mwenyewe atatundikwa juu ya msalaba atainuliwa juu na yote atakaye mtazama atakaye tazama mtu wa msalaba atakaye mtazama katika msalaba ataweza kuokolewa tukumbuke dhambi zetu zinafananishwa na nyoka hawa wakali dhambi yoyote ambayo unaitenda haina umuhimu haikuletei maana yoyote it is the nature of the snake to bite it is the nature of the sin to bite us dhambi zinatuumiza lakini hapa suruhu ni kwamba tunapoumwa na dhambi zetu tusiishi katika dhambi tutazame yeye ambaye anatualika na hakika ukiangalia katika msalaba jinsi Yesu anavyotundikwa ni kama anakualika anaalika kila mmoja wetu na shida zetu na dhambi zetu na changamoto zetu jioni kwangu nyinyi mliolemewa na magumu ya na mizigo ya ulimwengu huu na kwa hivyo siku ya leo wa Kristo wapenzi basi Yesu Kristo anatualika tuweze kutafakari msalaba wake for us who are Catholics you cannot imagine this cross bila yule Kristo na uwezi ukamagine Kristo bila msalaba aliposa anasema yeyote anayetaka kunifuata ajitwike msalaba but Jesus is not saying ya kwamba uchukue msalaba wako umtwike mwenzako ni lazima uwe muaminifu katika kuchukua msalaba misalaba hii ni tofauti ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu ametupatia but the good thing is this whenever he give you a cross he also give you a portion of his grace ili kukuwezesha kubeba ule msalaba This morning I don't know what kind of the cross you might be carrying but the good thing is this ya kwamba anakupatia neema anajua wewe ndio unaweza beba huo msalaba kuwa mwaminifu katika kubeba huo msalaba kwa jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu
Alléluia, où tu Papa, mon ba, où li Alléluia, où tu Papa, mon ba, où li Alléluia, tu me poke yamka. Temazao ya mashamba ah, Dio alama kwe Tu ya wema wako mku Aleluya utukuzwe Papa mumba uli mwengu Alléluia, où tu cousues. Papa, mon baou, libre. Alléluia. ndogo ile sadaka yangu na yenu ikubarike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana, sadaka ukononi wako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa manufaa yetu sisi na manufaa ya kanisa lako lote takatifu. Eh Bwana, tunakuomba sadaka hii itutakaze maofu yetu yote. Sadaka ambayo aliondoa maofu ya ulimwengu mzima katika altare ya msalaba kwa jina ya Kristo bwana wetu bwana awe nanyi na awe rohoni mwako inweni mioyo tumeinua kwa bwana tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu ni vyema na haki kweli ni vyema na haki tendo la kufa na kuleta wokovu tukushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba ulie mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele wewe ulileta wokovu wa watu katika mtu wa msalaba ili pale mauti yalipoanzia pale pale pawe chanzo cha uzima na yule mofu aliye shida zamani katika mti katika mti pia ashindwe kwa jia ya Kristu bwana wetu kwa jia yake malaika husifu adhama yako enzi hukuabudu na mamlaka hupiga magoti wakitetemeka mbinguni na nguvu za mbinguni na waselafi wenye heli wanakuadhimisha pamoja kwa shangwe tunakusihi tujalie tujiunge nao kwa wimbo wa sifa tukisema kwa sauti ya unyenyekefu takatifu takatifu bwana mungu wa majeshi mbingu na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako hosana juu mbinguni barikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la bwana hosana juu mbinguni E Bwana kweli umtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote tunakuomba ufitakatifuze vipaji hivi kwa nguvu ya roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Ye alipotolewa na kuingia kwa hiari katika mateso yake alitoa mkate akakushukuru akaumega kawapo wafuasi wake akisema Toeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe na kukushukuru tena. Aliwapo wafuasi wake akisema, "Toeni mnywe nyote. Hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu, damu ya agano jipya la milele, itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi. Fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu." Fumbo la imani. E Bwana tunatangaza kifo chako. Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa kifo na ufuko wake mwanao, tunakutolea mkato wa uzima na kikombe cha wokovu. Nakushukuru kwa kuwa umetusahilisha kusimama mbele yako na kukutumikia. 
pia tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu ili kwa kushiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo tukusanywe na Roho Mtakatifu tupate kuwa jamaa moja. E Bwana, ulikumbuke kanisa lako lililoenea popote duniani. Ulikamilisha katika mapendo pamoja na Baba Mtakatifu yetu, wetu Francisco, askofu wetu Filipo Anyoro na Daudi Mkamao msaidizi wake na wakilelo wote. Wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko na marehemu wote waliofariki dunia katika huruma yako uwapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Na kuomba utumie sisi sote ili pamoja na Maria Bikra mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo Bikra mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale. Tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kukutukuza kwa jia mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa jia yake na pamoja naye na dani yake. We Mungu Baba Mwenyezi, katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu, unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele. Amina. Tukifuata agizo la mwokozi wetu Tukilitia agizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye binguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike mtakalo lifanyike duniani kama binguni utupeleo mkati wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea tusifie katika ushawishi lakini tuokoe mwovu E Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Tujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu. Zudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako, tuopolewe daima na dhambi. Wana tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heli na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa falme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele. E Bwana Yesu Kristo Uliwaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa. Usitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unaeishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amina. Amani ya Kristo iwe daima nanyi. Aiwe rohoni mwako. Mwana kondoo wa Mungu, uondoe dhambi za ulimwengu, utuhurumi mwana kondoo wa Mungu muondoe dhambi za ulimwengu mwana kondoo wa Mungu muondoe dhambi za ulimwengu zania amani tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu tazama aondoe dhambi za ulimwengu heli yao walioaliko kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo ee bwana sistahili ndiye kwangu lakini sema neno na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo itulinde tufike katika uzima wa milele. Amina. Wimbo nambari 589 ukurasa wa 285 hii number 589 on page 285 Yesu atuali Yesu atuali mezani twendeni kumpoke twendeni kumpoke yakwa Shangwe Yesu wa 
After communion, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me, within thy wounds, hide me, permit me not to be separated from thee, from the wicked foe, defend me, at the hour of my death, call me, and bid me come unto thee that with thy angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Sisi tunamuhubiri Kristu msurubiwa, Kristu nguvu na hekima ya mungu. Tuombe. E Mungu mwenye huruma Tumepokea sakramenti ya ukombozi wa milele Tunakuomba kwa unyenyekefu sisi ulio tukomboa kwa mti wa msalaba Utufikishe kwenye utukufu wa ufufuko unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Bwana awe nanyi. Na awe rohoni mwako. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amin. Nedeni na amani ibada yetu ya misa imekwisha. Tumshukuru Mungu. Hii ni namba 224 on page 164. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no turning back.
Una persona sin techo que muere en la calle nunca va a aparecer en la primera página de los buscadores de Internet o de los noticieros. ¿Cómo hemos podido llegar a este nivel de indiferencia? ¿Cómo dejamos que la cultura del descarte, en la que millones de hombres y mujeres no valen nada frente a los beneficios económicos, ¿Cómo dejamos que esta cultura domine nuestras vidas, nuestras ciudades, nuestro modo de vivir? Se nos va a endurecer el cuello de tanto mirar al otro lado para no ver esta situación. Por favor, dejemos de hacer invisibles a los que están al margen de la sociedad. Ya sea por motivos de pobreza, de independencia, enfermedades psíquicas o minusvalía. Centremos en la acogida en acoger a todas las personas que lo necesitan. La cultura de la acogida, de recibir, de dar techo, de dar hogar, de dar amor, de dar calidez humana. Oremos para que las personas que viven al margen de la sociedad, en condiciones de vida infrahumanas, no sean olvidadas por las instituciones y nunca sean descartadas. Pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Caption TV. Ile support tunapatia Caption TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe. Kwa sababu una ujuzi. Lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi. Tuendelee kufanya kazi. Baby number 5106678 account name Caps TV Hail Holy Queen Mother of Mercy Hail our life and sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O merciful, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. To get Hail Holy Queen as your skiza tune, send skiza followed by code 7381025 and send it to 811. bali mapenzi ya Mungu kwamba kifo cha tangazo cha Anastasia Munyiva Muteti alizaliwa mwaka wa 1954 kifo chake kilitokea tarehe 5 mwezi wa tisa mwaka huu wa 2023 alikuwa mke wa Daniel Muteti Mbole ni mama wa Sami Suka Muteti Gabriel Mutie Muteti wa Capuchin TV Margaret Mweni Muteti Philip Mbole Muteti Alex Mutinda Muteti George Maundu Muteti na Sylvester Musioki Muteti ni mama mkwe wa Cecilia Kalunde, Nelly Nashipai na Jennifer Kavinya. Atapumzishwa kwenye kijiji cha Udhangadhi, Emali, 
Mulala Ward, kaunti ya Makueni, Ijumaa tarehe 15 Septemba mwaka huu. Mikutano ya maandalizi ya mazishi inafanyika kwenye shule ya parokia St Peter Clevers kwenye Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi kila saa 12 jioni. Raha ya milele umpe Anastasia Munyiva Muteti e bwana na mwanga wa milele umwangazie apumzike kwa amani. Amina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Good morning, Father. This morning, brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of the exaltation of the cross. And this connotes that through suffering we are glorified, especially in Jesus. For the time we see suffering as a curse or a stumbling block, we are the Lord to pardon us and help us believe in Him. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world and receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, 
who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. In those days, the people became impatient on the way, and the people spoke against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we love this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fairy serpents among the people, and they bite the people, so that many sons of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. For we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a fairy serpent and set up as a sign. And everyone who is beaten when he sees it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it up as a sign. And if a serpent beat any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. The word of the Lord. Response of Psalm. Our response is, Never forget the deeds of the Lord. 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 Give ear, my people, to my teachings. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable and utter hidden lessons of the past. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. When he slew them, then they sought him, repented and honestly sought God. They will remember that God was their rock, God the Most High, their Redeemer. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Yet they deceived him with their mouths, they lied to him with their tongues. For their hearts were not steadfast towards him, they were not faithful to his covenant. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Yet he who is full of compassion forgave them their sins and spared them. So often, he held back his anger and did not stir up all his rage. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Never forget the deeds of the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We 
adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Hallelujah, 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 The Son of Man must be lifted up, the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has ascended into heaven. But he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good, and all the time. Today, brothers, as we have had in the introduction, we are celebrating the feast of the exaltation of the cross. This is the feast of the dedication of a basilica of the most holy sepulchre in Jerusalem, a place which is believed to have been the place where Jesus was crucified and buried. And a very big basilica is built on that spot. That is the background, the historical background of the feast. Now coming to the readings, the theme of the readings and also our message is unbelief brings suffering and believing brings redemption or salvation. Let us start with the first reading. We have seen the children of Israel complaining against God and against Moses. That is unbelieving. They did not believe God or they had just forgotten where they came from. And the challenges they have encountered on the way, they did not believe that God was going to come to their aid. And so they poured out their unbelief on God and on Moses, and consequently, we have seen what followed that. There were sent serpents that beat many of them, and many died. And they also came to their senses that they have wronged God and Moses, and came back to say sorry. Forgive us and do something. Now we are told Moses instructed to make a bronze serpent and raise it up in a high place. And whoever is beaten and look there will be saved. This is also believing. They are told when you are beaten, look at that and you will live. 
and they believe. And indeed, when they did so, those who look up at the, that bronze serpent, they lived. That is faith, and that is belief which brings redemption. How can somebody just tell you, look at that tree, and you are in pain, and you will be relieved? If you don't have faith, will you be relieved? No. So, believing brings redemption, brings salvation. And that is continued in the gospel, in the conversation of Jesus and Nicodemus. Jesus saying, if you believe in me, you are going to have eternal life. Jesus also has alluded, saying that like when Moses raised the serpent, and those who look at it live, also I will be lifted up. And when you look at me and believe in me, you will be saved. That is faith. So Jesus is saying, believing in him brings us redemption, brings us salvation. But in between here, there is suffering, which we all try to avoid. But suffering, according to Jesus, leads to being lifted up. Being lifted up here doesn't necessarily mean being hung on the cross. It means glorification, being exalted, being raised. We all are happy when we are promoted at our work, isn't it? That is being glorified. You are set up above your brothers and sisters. You feel good, but free there, there is a process. And that process connotes suffering. And that suffering, if you have faith, it will ultimately end in glory. And so, the message to us in a nutshell is that when we are affected by our unbelief, consequently suffering will ensue. But if we have, when we believe in Jesus, then that suffering will be transformed into bliss, into glory, into redemption, into salvation, and you'll be happy at, end, at the end. So, brothers and sisters, let us try our best to believe in Christ. For when we believe in each other, we deliver. This you can attest at wherever you are. When you are believed, when you are trusted, you deliver. But even if you have the capacity to deliver and people decide not to believe you, you will not deliver. That's why Jesus when he came to his hometown and they ridiculed him, we are told he did not do many miracles, isn't it? Because they did not believe in him. He went away and did miracles where he was believed. So, when we believe in each other at the lower level, we see that we deliver. And when we believe in Jesus, he will also deliver to our suffering. Thank you. Mungu baba pokia sadaka yetu leo twakutoleo kwa jina la mwana o ya belino ibrahim ili kupendeza yetu baba ipendeze upoke tu upoke yetu ni lofu Take.
Pasifa na utu kupu wa ke mwenyezi Mkate huu nori vaivi we mwili wake Kwa heshi maku sadaka umtole Upoke Dilo fumbo kupendeza la baba na mwana na roho takati upoke sadaka ye dilo fumbo la kukupendeza la baba na Mwana na roho mtakatifu <coughs> Pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice <coughs> at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these oblation, O oh Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the, <coughs> of the whole world. Cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race in the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree my likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Glory. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously may holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Safa was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. We will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith, save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and His Grace Philip and your Archbishop and your assistant David Kamau, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, and Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, why have mercy on us? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. But I am not worthy that he shall enter under my roof. But only but say a word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Hymn number 408 on page 221, 408. <speaking in Hebrew> Yeah. 
Yesu mkombozi wangu shinda kwa guna mida ima kwa ko unipe moyo kwa ko ewe Yesu mkombozi wangu shinda kwa guna mida ima kwa ko Baraka na heshi na utukufu na uwezo kwake Prayer after Holy Communion. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, Call me and bid me come unto thee, that with thy angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, <coughs> to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our mass has ended. Let us go forth in peace and love of Christ. Have a beautiful day. Thanks. On page 163, hymn number 224. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me, the world behind me, the cross.
was before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no turning back, for I have known how this Jesus loves me, for I have known how this Jesus loves me, for I have known how this Jesus loves me, no turning back, no turning back. The glories of this world, I do not want them. The glories of this world, I do not want them. The glories of this world, I do not want them. No turning back, no turning back. Una persona sin techo que muere en la calle nunca va a aparecer en la primera página de los buscadores de Internet o de los noticieros. ¿Cómo hemos podido llegar a este nivel de indiferencia? ¿Cómo dejamos que la cultura del descarte, en la que millones de hombres y mujeres no valen nada frente a los beneficios económicos, ¿Cómo dejamos que esta cultura domine nuestras vidas, nuestras ciudades, nuestro modo de vivir? Se nos va a endurecer el cuello de tanto mirar al otro lado para no ver esta situación. Por favor, dejemos de hacer invisibles a los que están al margen de la sociedad. Ya sea por motivos de pobreza, de independencia, enfermedades psíquicas o minusvalía. Centremos en la acogida en acoger a todas las personas que nos necesitan. La cultura de la acogida, de recibir, de dar techo, de dar hogar, de dar amor, de dar calidez humana. Oremos para que las personas que viven al margen de la sociedad, en condiciones de vida infrahumanas, no sean olvidadas por las instituciones y nunca sean descartadas. Pia ni washukuru tena kwa support unapatia Caption TV. Ile support tunapatia Caption TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe. Kwa sababu una ujuzi. Lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi. Tuendelee kufanya kazi. Baby number 5106678 account name Caps TV Beloved believers, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Capuchin TV, we are grateful to God as we mark six years of this Catholic ministry of evangelization through broadcasting. We continue to spread the good news with you and through your generous support. 
We are greatly thankful for your unwavering loyalty to our programs. He appointed twelve with him, and that he could send them out to preach and to have authority to cast out demons. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. It has been a journey of over a decade, a voyage of discernment, holistic formation and preparation of five Mill Hill missionaries for the uphill mission work. In testimony of God's abundant blessings under the patronage of St. Joseph, the patron saint of the Universal Church, the Mill Hill missionaries, officially known as the St. Joseph's Missionary Society of Mill Hill, graciously invite you to witness the diaconate ordination of five of their beloved brothers. In thanksgiving and love, the air is joy in my heart. It is flowing like a river. I will praise the Lord in thanksgiving. The candidates who will be ordained to the Deaconry Holy Order are Lumboto Bufosa Oliveira from Waka Parish in the Catholic Diocese of Basankosu in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Otieno John Peter who hails from Nagongera Parish in the Archdiocese of Tororo in Uganda. Basala Sudhir Kumar from the Holy Rosary Parish Nalgonga Diocese in Ketepali, India. Lofembe Gabriel and Bameko Jill Francois, both of whom come from St. Michel Parish, Befale, also Catholic Diocese in DR Congo. The five missionaries of Mill Hill will be ordained deacons on Saturday, 23rd of September, 2023, at the St. Joseph's and Mary Parish Shaurimoyo in the Archdiocese of Nairobi's Makadara Deanery. The Eucharistic celebration for the confirmation of this holy order will commence at 10 a.m. East African time, led by the Nairobi Metropolitan Sea Shepherd, His Grace Philip Subira Nyolo, who will grace the occasion as the principal celebrant and ordaining prelate. Capuchin TV congratulates the Society of the Mill Hill Missionaries and, in a special way, Brothers Gabriel Lofembe. Olivier, Jules Francois Bameko, Pascal Sudir, and John Peter for this remarkable achievement. The St. Joseph's Missionary Society of Mill Hill is an international fellowship of Catholic missionaries dedicated to proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ to people throughout the world. The Society of Apostolic Life was founded in 1866 by an English Catholic prelate, Cardinal Herbert Vaughan. Do you wish to become a Mill Hill missionary? Contact the Vocations Director on 0732-458-117 or 0705-819-773 or send an email to mhmvocationken at yahoo.com for further details on how to join the society. Join St. Joseph Missionary Society of Mill Hill to love and to serve. Watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Mpendo muumini tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Waumini wakahawa mpo.
Kahawa West na Kahawa East, Kahawa Farmers na Kahawa Lovers, Kahawa Barracks na Kahawa Flats, Kahawa Windani na Kahawa Rafiki, Kahawa Sukari, Kahawa Sofia. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Jumapili 24 ya mwaka tarehe 17 Septemba Kapuchin TV tutatembea kwenye mtaa wa Kahawa mbali na mikahawa na viwanda vya mashinani kwa mwaliko wa baba paroko Padre Alfonso Popi tutainjilisha na waumini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu eneo la Kahawa Sukari Itakuwa ni sherehe ya maadhimisho ya jubilei ya fedha ama miaka ishirini na mitano ya parokia hiyo. My name is Rachel Kirago. I am a parishioner Kahawa Sukari Parish. I am the moderator for Young Catholic Adults and I'm just very happy to be celebrating 25 years of this amazing parish. As we prepare to celebrate it uh, on the 17th of this month September We are looking forward to even having people come celebrate with us because it's a milestone. Ibada ya misa itafanyika kwenye kanisa la parokia hiyo kuanzia saa nne asubuhi. Kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mwashamu Philip Anyolo, askofu mkuu wa Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi. Ibada hii itakufikia hapa na kupitia kwa mitandao yetu ya kijamii. Wakulima wa kahawa, wavunaji wa kahawa, Wazaji wa kahawa na wanywaji wa kahawa nyote tunawapenda. Kapuchin TV inawatakia heri na baraka wanaparukia wa St Joseph Kahawa Sukari katika maadhimisho hayo. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV kitambulisho chako katoliki. The Congregation of the Holy Ghost Fathers, a celebration of faith and service. In the spirit of unwavering dedication to the divine and a wholehearted commitment to serving both God and humanity, we bear witness to the profound spiritual strength that arises from this sacred calling. Through our steadfast pursuit of God's work in His chosen way, we never find ourselves lacking in His boundless supply of grace. But who are the spiritans and what is the founding history and guiding charism of the Congregation of Holy Ghost Fathers? Our congregation is officially called the Congregation of the Holy Spirit under the protection of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We are founded in 1703 by Father Claude Poulard de Place in France. And in 1848, our congregation majored with the Society of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which was founded by Father Francis Mary Paul Lieberman, also in France. We serve in over 60 countries across the world. And here in Kenya, we have a common house of theology where students from all over the world come to study theology at Tangaza College University. Our charism of the founders is to serve people who are in their need, especially in places where the church finds it hard to get workers. The spiritual uh, formation journey takes 10, uh, at least 10 years, probably 10 to 12 years, depending on an individual, the kind of formation that person has gone through. And these years are divided into, we begin with the postulancy level, that is normally one year, and then we, uh, we have the philosophicum, whereby the students study philosophy, that normally takes three years. 
We also have a novitiate that normally takes one year. And then after that, we have pastoral that normally takes one or two years, depending on where somebody has been sent to. And then after that, we join theologicum, whereby uh, we study theology for four years before somebody is ordained. The Congregation of the Holy Ghost Fathers invites you all to the diaconate ordination of their 16 brothers. And I am one of the 16 brothers, the Spirit and Brothers, who will be ordained on the 16th of September at St. John the Evangelist Parish, Nairobi. And I take the pleasure to invite all of you to this occasion to grace the ordination of all the 16 brothers. We have different nationalities. We have eight from Kenya. We have four from Uganda, one from Tanzania, two from Zambia, and one from Angola. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Lordship Right Reverend John Binder, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Lodua. This event will be broadcasted live on Capuchin TV and across all social media platforms. This way, you can share in the spiritual enrichment from wherever you are. So I invite young men who are still descending their vocation to think of us, the Spiritans, and become part of our large family. Asante Nisana. Capuchin TV extends its warmest congratulations to the 16 brothers and the entire congregation of the Holy Ghost Fathers for this remarkable achievement. To stay connected with the latest updates and inspirational content, we invite you to continue watching Capuchin TV. Your support and viewership empower us to spread the message of faith and love to the world. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Let's get it on.